What's up, YouTube? Welcome out through garage. As you can see, it's Thursday night. Tomorrow morning, I am taking my car to the Mercedes dealership. Hopefully, they get me squared away and we can uh, get these uh, codes clear. Uh, and that's just pretty much it. I'm finna clean her up really well. Have this car looking real nice uh, inside. Um, and that's just pretty much it. Uh, like I said, this car want to go, but we just need to make sure we get whatever is going on straight out so we can get a ship and all that. So hopefully it's something simple. We can make a I'm excited. So see y'all. Guys, the reason why I think I had these lights because I did had, uh, I think, three light bulbs out and one wire light disconnected. So only uh, codes we getting is the same uh, code. Um, like I said, it's probably stored. They just probably need it cleared. Um, so, I mean, I would get back with y'all in the morning. I'm finna wash this car up. Uh, I got it cleaned up inside here. Uh, I had fixed this up. Uh, the screws was uh, loose for some odd reason. So I'm gonna uh, end up going home, making sure uh, the screw I used uh, is gonna be tight. But I'm finna run it through a car wash, kind of skeptical for the cargo box. But anyway, uh, we're gonna make it happen. So see ya. The car is so weird. I don't got no check engine light now. But I guarantee that the thing is store, uh, stored. So like I said, once we see what it really is, then we just gonna go from there, so. I gotta get gas tomorrow and stuff. So, yeah. What's up, guys? So it's Friday morning. Uh, we taking a risky drive, but I already know we're gonna make it here. Uh, we, this is gonna be between 40 to 60 miles per hour. Uh, I don't have no check engine light right now. Well, the BSA light, EPS light just came on. So. Like I said, we're going to see what they find and stuff. Hopefully, we can get this car straightened out today. Uh, I know we will. We should. Fingers crossed. Not going to get my hopes all up. But uh, this thing will be driving there. Good thing I changed the belt, too, so the belt should make it. Uh, I know if I had another belt, that thing probably would have popped. Uh, but we're going to make it, though. Uh, I have faith. We're going to make it. So i see y'all. And uh, whatever time my drop is, rather this morning night midday and stuff i hope y'all having a great day good morning good night whatever man so stay tuned let's uh, see if we can get the uh, mercedes fixed you guys little update i was at the gas station like a few seconds ago and i thought the car wouldn't drive because i had it drive and it wouldn't act like it didn't want to go but you know good thing i able but now we got a christmas tree uh dash right now so like i said bro we gonna see what they say man Temp been staying good. Temp been staying good, but being that we at first, it's gonna, it's gonna stay up. So guys, apparently we do not have the Mercedes with me. 
Uh, but this morning, the car has driven or had driven uh, good. Um, and I'm like, you know, was really stoked that it even made it all the way about like two hour drive. But um, I don't have a Mercedes because uh, apparently they were swamped. They had recalls and all this other stuff they had to take care of. And fortunately, my car just didn't got fixed on today. They did look a bit busy. I'm not going to lie. But I dropped my car off around 9.49. Scheduled appointment was at 10. So I'm thinking that the thing possibly could be done by lunchtime. I uh, went to explore around where I went at, and then about three, I so, said, you know, let me check around. I wasn't hearing nothing from them, man. I just wasn't hearing nothing, so I said, damn. So they not, they didn't even really have a chance to touch my car, so she told me that the latest day would be is Monday. They would start on it, and I'm looking like, man, what the hell? But she did ask, was I'm dropping it off? And I said, yeah, um, but I guess... My drop off is like, yeah, I'm dropping off. I'm gonna come back, but I guess you know they drop off was you know okay dropping it off, um you know. But all I needed was like the codes clear and like to see what was what. I thought it was gonna be pretty quick, uh, just to do that. Um, but fortunately, uh, it wasn't, which is uh crazy to me. I missed the car. Um, but anyway, fingers crossed, everything. Turns out well. They tell me what's going on. I'm really patient. Uh, no need of like rushing things. Um, I feel like I did everything um, according to plan. Um, I made sure everything was tight, topped off, and all that little good stuff. Um, yeah, it's just pretty much it. Two hour drive. No car back. Got to wait. And that's, that's the thing with dealerships and stuff. That's why I'm like taking my my car to nobody or nowhere because you got to be on a time. You're not on your time, which sucks. That's why I like working on my stuff. Like my Tahoe, if all that stuff I did to it, um, like took the cylinder head apart, replaced the gaskets, all that little good stuff. That thing probably been sitting at the shop for like, you know, a couple, couple days or weeks. Uh, possibly just waiting for somebody else just to fix on it. If I can just go out there and do it myself way quicker and stuff. Same with the Porsche and all that. Same with the Mercedes, but fortunately, I don't have, like, the tools to actually get me over the hump. So, I mean, why not actually take it to them and see what's what? So, dealership, they do become uh, useful, but it can be a pain, uh, especially waiting on daytime and all. But can't complain. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm still excited. I uh, still got joy. And also, I had uh, purchased some stuff for the turbo truck. I want to get the thing done probably by April, latest June, probably July. But I really want to get it, like, dialed in with everything. And the only thing I'm probably going to be having uh uh, thinking process about is the downpipe for the turbo and stuff like how i want to you know get it out do they sell kits or anything for downpipes like y'all let me know um i need to know i need a dial pipe because i don't have no welder or nothing um i will go about go out and buy one but i don't i don't think there's no point uh right now because i don't know if i'm gonna be using it like that you know what i'm saying um so I just need a downpipe. I don't think um, I need for the truck. We got everything for the 4L80. I don't think we're just going to have to do is tune up the truck. I got a fuel line coming in. I'm going to redo the fuel lines, uh, mount the transmission underneath. Uh, above, we just need to put our wastegates, vacuum hoses, and all that. I'm going to just start splurging again back on this truck because I want to get it done. So. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Enough with all the talking. Um, rear main seal for the Tahoe. Might end up taking that flywheel off. Redoing that right now as we speak. Or I might just chill and just get up early in the morning. Um, but I hope y'all enjoy. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the garage. Make sure to like. Drop y'all comments, tips down below. And thank y'all.